Hey, what's up everybody? This is Chicken Possible back with another Microsoft Rewards Guide. Today we're gonna to be working on the Rewards Weekly Set. And uh, we'll grab a few other things along the way to earn some extra points. But basically we're gonna get these 100 points. Uh, we've got three steps here. First, we've got to click on a link for the featured game. So we'll go ahead and do that and then jump right back over to the Rewards app. Uh, the second step and the biggest part of this video is going to be earning three achievements in an Xbox One game. Um, and then additionally, the third step is to run 50 mobile searches on Bing. So you'll have to do that on your own, uh, either on your Xbox, like it wants to open up right there, or you could do it on your Bing mobile app, which I would advise. Um, but, but yeah, we're going to work on those three achievements in just a minute. Uh, along the way, we'll also grab the 50 points here for achieve more, earn more for earning an achievement in a game. And additionally, there's a quest, a weekly quest for earning an achievement in a Game Pass game. So we'll go ahead and earn our three achievements that we're going to get within one of the Game Pass games. Um, we're going to continue on with the uh, series that I've been working on. This is going to be part three of the Fractured Mind series. So like I usually do, I'll post in the description links for parts one and two of this series. So you can go back and grab those first couple of achievements if you want to do that, if you haven't already gotten them. But we're going to continue on, so let's go to the level select from the main screen here, and we're going to select level 2. We were able to get our first couple of achievements in level 1, so now we're ready to grab the one for level 2, and we'll go on to 3 and 4 as well. But here we go, chapter 2. Uh, first thing you want to do is open the purple and the red presents on the desk, or on the table I should say. Go over and shake the pinata and you'll get a pin. Uh, you can pick up the tail and the blindfold. And then you're going to go over to the picture of the donkey here. We're going to play a quick game of pin the tail on the donkey and just kind of roughly get it in the right spot and press A to put the tail on. Now we'll go over to the uh, cake, blow out the candles, open the present, and pick up the key. So this will be the key that gets us out of the room. And you're just pressing A on the door to use the key. Everything is just the A button in this in this game, by the way. So if you ever hear me say something about clicking or, or pressing, I'm just talking about pressing the A button. That's pretty much all you do in this game. All right, so we'll go ahead and walk forward into Chapter 3 here. And we've got our first of three achievements by just completing Chapter 2. And that's how we're going to get the achievement in Chapter 3 as well, is just completing the chapter. So the first thing we'll do is walk over and pick up the magnifying glass and then put the magnifying glass, sort of direct it at the snow globe that's on the little table there. And then you sort of are inside of the snow globe, so you can walk forward and open up the door to the little cabin and then pick the key up off of the red chair, turn around and walk back through the snowy path, and then you'll see the doorway that gets you out of chapter three. And then we'll just press A to leave chapter three and grab our second achievement. All right, chapter four, um, you'll see all these different figures uh, walking around on the sidewalks here. Uh, be, be forewarned, you can actually get hit by the cars in this, which, uh, you know, no big, big deal, but basically you'll just have to start over if you do get hit by a car. But, um, but anyway, we're going to walk along the streets here. You'll see these different figures have symbols on their backs, and there's actually a second achievement for completing the chapter where we'll have to use the symbols, but we're not going to do that today. All we're looking for for this third achievement is the sort of villain of the game. He's, he's wearing like a tall black suit and has kind of a white head. So you're basically just going to walk back and forth for probably about three minutes or so, three or four minutes, something like that, and just kind of watch both sides of the street and look for that tall black figure, and there you can actually see him there, so I'm crossing the street to get close to him now. And yeah, he's a little creepy, but he does have an achievement in his pocket, so there we go. We've got our third third achievement for seeing the thing in Chapter 4. Um, like I said, we'll, uh, we'll finish up Chapter 4 next time when we need another achievement in this series, but for today, we've got our three achievements at this point. So, basically, we can go ahead and start turning things in at this point. So we'll hop over to the Game Pass app. You saw that quest got unlocked, so we'll turn in that quest for the 10 reward points here for earning an achievement in a Game Pass game. So we've got 10. We're going to go grab 150 more points after this. And we'll do that by going over to the Microsoft Rewards app and clicking again on the Rewards Weekly Set. You do actually have to click on the Achievement Hunter there to turn that in, and then you can just hop right back over to the Rewards app, and you should have three green check marks, hopefully, next to all of that. 
and you've got those 100 points now and then we'll have to click on achieve more earn more and then click on earn now to grab those 50 points and if you ever have problems with the check marks not appearing even though you it, you know it looks like you've done everything correctly uh, kind of my first thing that i do to troubleshoot is go ahead and quit the microsoft rewards app because i wasn't seeing my check mark there and then you just start it back up and sometimes uh, you'll actually get the check mark when it it kind of refreshes its information so that's what happened here so i definitely uh definitely recommend that if you're having further problems you know you can always ask in the comments i'll try to help if i can um, and then kind of the last resort is always to contact uh, Microsoft Rewards uh, support and they've got a form for that and I think I'm going to start including that in the descriptions of all of my videos because you know, some, sometimes people need that link and it's not uh, super handy uh, on the rewards site. It's always at the bottom if you're, if you're ever looking for it though. But now it will be in my video descriptions as well in case you need it there. But that's going to do it today for the Fractured Minds Part 3, and I uh, hope you'll join me back here for Part 4 uh, probably next week. Don't forget, everybody, that channel memberships are open. If you're interested in, in joining up in that way, uh, just click on the Join button here on YouTube. And that's it. Thanks for watching, guys. If you found that video helpful, please be sure to click the Subscribe button on YouTube and hit that bell for notifications. You can also find links in the description for other social media links of mine. Stay tuned for more Microsoft Rewards and Achievement Guides, and I'll see you in the next one.